What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Had to boot up the old camera for this one because this one is a doozy. All right, so Colin Moriarty, everybody knows who he is. So uh, he released the latest episode of his podcast, um, Sacred Symbols, and he got a chance to speak with a Concord developer. Of course, he doesn't, you know, give up the source because, you know, he protects his sources so that anybody who comes to him with any other information knows that they won't be outed and everything like that because obviously that could affect their career and everything like that. But he vetted this person and vetted the information that they gave him. So all of this seems to be true. And the information that they provided him is some insane shit. So a lot of us knew already before we had any confirmation that this is this Concord is PlayStation's biggest flop ever, biggest budget financial disaster ever, right? That was, we already knew that. Some people estimated that the cost of this game um, was gonna, would be between like 200 and 300 million or whatever, be, especially because of the time, the, the amount of years it took to develop. Um, so we, uh, we already uh, assumed that. And the fact that nobody fucking bought the game, that it pretty much was taken off, was removed in uh, two weeks. So you know they made no money from it either. So, yeah, do the math. So they made nothing from it. It costs that much, but it gets even worse. So th here's the information that was confirmed to him. I'm going to go through, go through it, um, the major bullet points. So the game costs $400 million to make. For comparison, God of War Ragnarok's budget was $200 million. God of War Ragnarok. Look at God of War Ragnarok. See everything going on in that game. Play that game. You could see where the $200 million went. Right. What is uh, Last of Us Part Two cost two hundred twenty million. Okay, you know all of these costs, of course, are very ballooned because this is just how much it costs to make a a triple A game nowadays, right? So these costs in in general are pretty insane. But then you compare Concord to God of Ragnarok and and Last of Us Part Two. And that costs four hundred million, and you're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ao dog, huh? Can you repeat four hundred? What? Yo, y'all could have gave me that and saved the money, and I would have been able to tell you, listen, this game is going to fail because it is complete dog shit. So it costs four hundred million to make. Um, just two years ago, it was in bad shape. Like, they didn't even have the game in any... Like it, it wasn't where it should have been by, you know, where, where it should have been by two years ago, right? There was really no game there. They had, like, maybe some characters and some levels, but there was no game. Um, so internally, they considered that this would be, like, the future multiplayer game of PlayStation. Like, they compared it to Star Wars. This was internal talks, right? and you could not speak negatively about this game. You could not critique it. You could not say anything bad. The, the person who Colin spoke to said that there was complete toxic positivity. We've spoken about that word. We've used that word just in general in this community before because we have a lot of people who, who are, whose whole personality is just toxic uh, positivity. Right? So you couldn't say anything bad about the game. Couldn't critique it you know you, you you couldn't have any con con uh just constructive criticism around it nothing right and herman holst who we know he was head he you know he became head of playstation studios after shuhei and then he was promoted to co-ceo just recently he was like the huge champion of this game like he he loved this game we we saw a tweet a while ago before Concord was released of just how impressed he was about it and everything like that. Um, so he was the big champion of this game. Loved it, thought it was going to be, he thought this shit was going to be a banger. He thought it was going to be a hit. Here's what I got to say about that, right? Just, first of all, you always need, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call them haters. Because, you know, for lack of a better word, right? But you need cynical people around you. 
You need negative people around you. You need haters around you. You need even friends that give you constructive criticism around you. All of those things. Because, listen, a lot of the people I'm cool with are also my haters. You need that. Because they're going to take you, they're going to keep you grounded. They're going to keep you level. When you think you hot shit and you think you up here, you need them haters that you cool with to be like, I right, fam, relax. Because this, this, and this is not all that fire. I, that's essentially what my whole discord is. My whole discord is the, just a bunch of people who fucking hate, hate on me. That's really it. But, but we're cool. Right? Not to, con and of course, my podcast is nothing on the level of, you know, or any of my content creation is nothing on the level of like game development and, you know, everything I've, I have here is not like, I don't look at it as some type of big shit that I've created. But when there's anything that I'm like trying to do, create, I have an idea about something and you can, you, you can, like, this can be verified. Um, I go to, I, I ask somebody, that I know is very like cynical and kind of kind of a hater that I'm cool with. And I asked him, what do you think? Like Butch, he's in my Discord. People know, a lot of people know who Butch is. Butch is kind of like one of my biggest haters. Like I, I'm cool with him. Like we talk. Like, you know, like when you have like friends in real life and like y'all be roasting each other. Butch is like one of the, I, I've gone to Butch. I'm like, yo, what do you think about this? Because I know he, I don't have, I don't have like, a whole bunch of kiss asses around me and in my discord. Like I have people who will roast me and, and like literally just, just say I ain't shit. I don't want a whole bunch of people who, who kissing my ass and, and like a whole bunch of yes men. I don't, I don't have yes men around me on my podcast and my discord. I don't, I don't have that as y'all can see when y'all watch the podcast. Cause we always fucking argue and, we're always arguing on the podcast. We're always arguing in Discord. We always fucking arguing. Tony is another fucking hater. Tony is one of my biggest haters. Everybody knows Tony. Always critiquing everything I fucking do, right? Just keep a bunch of haters around you. See, when you have haters around you, you know you could at least never be comfortable. You can never, you may never be, they may never like, make you happy right not that i need that from people so i'm good but you know that they can never like i don't think having a whole bunch of haters or cynical people could lead to your downfall really as long as you're doing what you're doing haters can't really lead to your downfall but the yes men and the people who are who are afraid to say anything like negative to you, they can absolutely lead to your d downfall because they can lead you astray and tell you some bullshit that that you just tell you bullshit that you want to hear that's not actually helping you. And to bring this back to PlayStation and game development, I and Herman Holst, what I think as far as Herman Holst's evaluation on games, because that's very important that he knows how to evaluate games. I think that he's probably a great evaluator of single player games. I don't doubt that part. Once again, the multiplayer game um, sector is just a very fucking different beast. You just have to, it's, it's just, a, it's very particular. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to know what a good multiplayer game is. You got to have an eye for it. And listen, I don't know Herman Holst, obviously. And he was there when they were working on Killzone. But he probably never played that multiplayer. Herman Holst probably, Herman Holst probably does not even touch a multiplayer game in his spare time. What the fuck does Herman Holst probably know about a multiplayer game, bro? You need specialists who live, breathe, and understand multiplayer so it doesn't lead to this fucking disaster of Concord. You can't just have people who are like general gamers, like single player, people who play single player games to like evaluate a multiplayer game. But that just doesn't work. You need specialists, bro. So, 
and this p toxic positivity this is this is why like i'm not afraid to be negative like people understand that like people always say oh all you do is like say negative things you hate on things you never got nothing good to say people like me are needed people like me are valuable because people there are people out there that when they are analyzing and critiquing a product they do this dance where they don't want to say anything negative, whether it's to protect relationships or protect anything else. So there's those people out there and that's damaging. And then there's people like me who are going to tell you straight up, yo, your game is straight up dog shit. Not D-O-G, D-O-W-G, dog shit. I'm that person who's going to tell you that. And it may hurt you and you may not want to hear it in the moment because I understand like, you know, this, you know, when people create something, this is your, this is uh, your baby and your child. And what's the quote? Um, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Yeah. Those type of people, you need somebody to tell you, yo, this is dog shit, bruh. And that's why like, I'll never feel bad about like how the way I am. I'll never feel bad about it because people like me are needed. I'm not, I'm not going to say that the positive people, I think the toxic positivity people are definitely not needed. I think the generally positive people who just like things, I think they are needed, but it's a balance. It's a yin yang thing, man. It's a yin yang thing. It, it's how you keep balance. It's, it's how you keep measured. You, you need people to just t keep it real with you, man, because the toxic positivity people are just devoid from reality. They're not being real with you. They're not being realistic. You need haters. You need negative feedback. You need that. So, Herman Holst, I, what, I, I think they just, they need to consult. And I said this before, they just need to consult with somebody who understands, who has their ear to the streets, who just understands, live, breathes, and and just eats multiplayer, bro, because y'all do not have people who are qualified to make these decisions on what game, what multiplayer games are going to going to be successful and what's going to be a failure. I could have told you that shit was going to be a failure. I mean, everybody in the honestly, any anybody around here could have told you that that could have been that would have been a failure. But you didn't see it. And sometimes you got to you. You can't be a good evaluator, evaluator of it because you're too close to it. So it may look good to you, but you need to take a step back. Sometimes when you're too close to shit that you created, you you just can't see it. And I'm I'm listen, I'm pretty sure the Concord developers um know that this was dog shit. But so and I'm not I'm I don't want to kill the, I've been killing them, but I don't want to kill them as much now that I know that they were in this en environment where you could not criticize this game whatsoever it just wasn't there it wasn't oak welcome to any type of critique so now you know what i'm not i'm not gonna kill y'all as much as as much but i'm still killing y'all i'm still waiting for them layoffs because them layoffs is coming i'm still waiting for the layoffs the the studio closure both or whichever one comes first one at least one of them has happened we know that Still going to be dancing on y'all grave because I don't condone this bullshit game. So. Yeah, I just think that it's crazy that they just had this culture of toxic positivity, which I absolutely hate. And that led to the the, the, the absolute toxic positivity. Think about it. It was toxic positivity that led to PlayStation's greatest failure. That led to their greatest failure. Toxic positivity. It should not be welcomed in any community. It should not be welcomed just in general among society. Uh, you know, this, this, this participation trophy bullshit. It shouldn't be welcomed in gaming. All of, this, all of these products and items should be under heavy scrutiny. You need a cynic in the room. What's, what's that? And what's that like saying? Like if you're, in the smartest, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Or you need to leave or some shit like that. You need some people who are... Smarter than you. You need some people who are just negative. You need some people who are haters, bro. Because this is nuts. Herman Holst, you need to, you need to stay, you need to stay 
in the lane of evaluating single player games. I don't ever want to hear you talk about a multiplayer game. I don't ever want to hear what your what your thoughts on one are. You anytime a multiplayer game comes across your desk and needs to be greenlit, you need to consult with somebody else cuz you're not qualified. And apparently that's what Bungie was for, but and well, this this game, I think they said this game technically might have been in development before Bungie was there, but either way, like this shit should have been shut down. And side note, you know what I what I always thought, and I don't know who owns High Res, but I always thought that High Res would have been a better purchase than Bungie. If you wanted like a, a publisher, a team that specializing specializes and are experts in multiplayer games that absolutely should have been should have been high res like i said once again don't know if they're up for sales they might be already owned by somebody i I don't know those details but you can argue that high res is more uh is more experienced more successful and they own more shit like you play you paid like two billion for bungie maybe you might have had to pay a little bit more for uh, high res, but they own more shit and they're they have more successful multiplayer IPs. Smite, Paladins, Rogue Company, Realm Royale. Like these are pe- like these are, these. This is a studio that kind of knows what the fuck they're doing. Like you can maybe make the argument that some of their games, some of their games last longer than others. Some of their games like die a little bit quicker, but I still think high res would have end would have ended up being better than fucking Bungie. That's my opinion. I I think so. Um when you when you just look at their resume. Um yeah, man, this is I hope once again, I hope they don't get gun shy about multiplayer. I think they just have to learn from I think you got to know what you don't know. And clearly from this, they should understand like, yo, we don't know shit about like we 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 as far as the executives go. Because I do believe that there are there is the talent to create a good multiplayer within first party studios, several good multiplayers. But the executives don't the suits don't know shit. The suits don't know what the fuck they're doing. And there was a whole bunch of crazy shit from the time that PlayStation acquired this from that. What was that? They, they were owned by Monster Studios or what? Yeah, this 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 shit was some bullshit. It was some combobulated bullshit that never should have happened. And once again, you're ignoring your own IPs that are perfectly suited for multiplayer that would be a success, as I keep saying. But what the fuck do I know, right? Just a gamer with gamer thoughts and a love for multiplayer. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts. Um, I think I covered everything. We have to kill and, uh, abolish toxic positivity. We have to scrape it off the face of the earth, especially on Twitter. Whenever we encounter it, toxic positivity must be eradicated. And anybody who is an offender, a, 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 a repeat offender of being a toxic positivist that's not a word but i tried to you know i tried to make that work a toxic positivity offender jail jail time because they are hurting whatever industry that they're in they are not doing they are not helping anything 400 million dollars down the drain because of toxic positivity herman hulse Listen, shape up, bruh, shape up, get some people who know more than you about this multiplayer lane, and if y'all gonna continue this endeavor, and I want y'all to, fix it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Peace.